All right guys, hey, it's Elio. Today we're gonna learn how to hit a slice, all right? There's a few different options with a slice. You gotta think, are you in a more defensive position being pushed back? Are you more neutral and just trying to establish yourself in the point, maybe mix it up? Are you going forwards, trying to really attack it and knife it? Are you trying to hit it aggressively and fast? And finally, is the ball high or low? All right, so all these factors are gonna determine what kind of slice you're hitting. There's a bunch of different shots to do this, okay? So I'm gonna start defensively. What I want you to think of is the most defensive slice is just staying in the point. This was what happens when the ball's bouncing up at me and I haven't had time maybe, or I'm just struggling, or I'm just trying to react and put it back in. What's happening here is I'm on my back foot. <clears throat> this is the key. So if I'm on my back foot, what I've got to use is my arm to create power. Okay, so this is not really what I want to be doing, but it's a shot to kind of get, get out of jail, right? Get out of trouble in tennis court, just stay in the point. This is not your go-to shot. As you're falling back, you notice my body weight's going back, so my arm has to do all the work. Again, not what I want, but sometimes if you're setting yourself up high here above the ball, now all you've got to do is block it forwards with your racket, okay? So it's more of a block slice, okay? The first thing I want to mention with this is I've got a continental grip. Even slightly towards that eastern side, so I'm going slightly towards the right, I'll show you. So if I'm slicing here, again, I've got a, like a loose, relaxed grip as I'm slicing, but it's more continental, that's what it looks like. If you feel like it, it that, that's too much, too, too aggressive, you can open up that racket face so the, the more under the ball I get, right, the more open I go. So that's almost an eastern forehand grip right there, but the strings are very, very open. So the ball goes up, that's the idea. So continental is gonna be your friend because it's gonna help the strings face forwards as you hit. Now, contrary to popular belief, right, if I'm hitting forwards here, I say that as I slice, my strings are here, not here. If I'm chopping and they're going up, that's when the slice goes up to the sky. So be careful with that. Now, I'm on my back foot. I start with my racket high, okay? The butt of the racket almost points towards the ball. So I'm above my head, the ball's bouncing up at me, and I'm blocking it back, okay? So try and go small with your arm. As you're blocking the ball back, that's what's gonna control the ball. Not a violent swing, because then it's gonna float up and they're gonna probably be pounding you again, you get into trouble. The next slice, okay, a much better option that we wanna hit is not bouncing up and struggling, it's more neutral. So the ball's in that even medium place and I'm just trying to change it up, okay? So what you notice I'm doing is I'm actually getting down to the ball, okay? I'll show you the lazy man slice in a sec, but I'm actually getting down to the ball a little bit. If I'm underneath the ball, that helps me hit up, okay? The straighter I am, the more I've got to rely on my hands, okay? So I don't want to do that if I can avoid it. The, the better player is going to be down underneath the slice. That's the first thing. So all you've got to think about, it's, it's a very relaxed shot. This is not a shot where we're really muscling, we're not forcing anything. So I'm pretty loose, pretty relaxed, but as I turn, the first thing you notice is I've taken this left foot out, okay? My left foot's gone out, I've pivoted, so my weight starts on my back foot. How it looks is like this, right? My weight is back, so now as I get down, I can go forward to the ball, and come under my slice. All you gotta think about is get that racket up above your wrist, where now I can come forwards into the ball, closing my strings, and I'm not chopping down here. I'm actually closing my strings and coming forwards. So it'll look like this, right? I'm still chopping down and forwards. So that ball actually comes up off my strings. I've, you notice I've gone down, but through the ball, okay? So as I'm here, you're just creating that little bit of backwards weight shift, right? So as I'm back, I'm going forwards through the ball, okay? Now it depends, I threw that ball pretty close to me. If it's closer to you, you'll come more across. If it's further away, you'll go more forwards. I'll show you one further away, okay? So it looks different. That's the only variation there with where the ball is placed, but the concept is the same, opening up the strings and coming across. This is more of a side spin shot, okay, as it comes more towards my body, okay? I've got to compensate and go across. They're two different slices, but it's the same concept of kind of changing up the play. Finally, when I come into the ball, same idea, right? My racket head's up above my wrist, the butt of my racket faces forwards, and now I'm really knifing it with my shoulder. So what you notice is my, my weight's still back, I've stepped into the slice, I'm somewhat relaxed as I come down, and the only time I squeeze, if I want to be a bit more aggressive, I squeeze a little bit more firmly, okay? So I'm not swinging more violently, I'm simply squeezing that little bit more firmly. So as I come forwards, squeeze if you wanna knife it a little bit more and then relax straight away, okay? I want you guys to visualize there's an invisible table. 
There's a table below you where if you're slicing, you're not chopping down and hitting the table, you're going forwards through the table, okay, or along the table. What I want you to focus on now is how I hit this ball and keep going forwards with my racket. Okay, I can squeeze that, that racket handle and it starts to fly off a lot more, okay? The harder I go with, with my hand, the flatter and harder it goes, okay? So I don't wanna go too much down and then I get too much float. So depending how high the ball is, doesn't matter, you still wanna go forwards. If I'm down here, still going forwards, creating that safety, okay? Obviously, the lower it is, the safer I gotta be. So I might soften up my grip and control the ball. Try those differences in slice. It's a great get out of jail free card when the ball's very low. You could go forehand slice, it's the same concept, okay? Doesn't matter. You can go open stance, okay? And just keep slicing forwards. It's a little bit harder to do, but that's fine. The concept of the racket is the same. If I've got time, I turn side on and I knife it with my shoulder. So all those things apply in the same concepts. Doesn't matter if I'm being moved more and I'm just blocking that slice versus moving a little less and close, guiding that slice a little bit, okay? So you will feel the differences as you try it open stance or closed. But in general, if you wanna knife that good slice, you're just getting a lined side on so your racket can go along you nice and, nice and for a far distance out towards your target and then you're gonna get the control. The more open you are, the more careful you've gotta be about hitting and coming across your body, okay? If you're here, you still gotta go forwards through it. Practice that and good luck mixing up your slice with these variations. Have fun. <laughs>